Uh, the story today is uh, Taylor Russolino, kicker for the Denver Broncos, um, Tom McMahon, special teams coordinator over there, former uh, special teams coordinator for the Colts, good friend of mine, Mitt's old man, mm -hmm. obviously, yep. Mitt's old man, a uh, guy that I have a lot of respect for. He and I had a conversation about a XFL kicker that I've been, you know, going to bat for here on my show for since the beginning of the season, I think. Uh, Taylor Russolino uh, was a kicker for the uh, Battle Hawks of St. Louis. The, the Battle Hawks, by the way, had an electric environment. I was never there. I actually called his first game down in Dallas. I was a sideline reporter. Mm -hmm. So I was actually, you know, not thrilled to be the sideline reporter for the game at all. Like, I, that was not what I thought was going to happen whenever I agreed to do XFL. I was supposed to be in the booth, I thought. Then got put down a sideline reporter uh, like a week before the, the game or whatever. And, you know, I loved the opportunity. I was very thankful for it, but I was very tired coming off the fall that I just had. So I opted out of it. But the one game I did as sideline reporter, I was down on the field. And it actually, it bet I got to see how people were at. It was like I was on the bench again. AJ, you know what I mean? I could, like, get the vibe of, like, what the bench was. I could, like, see who, you know, I, who, who I thought was going to be, like, potentially really good, cool, or something like that. And uh, this Taylor Russolino kid, um, watching him kick balls, I was so confused on why he hadn't been in the NFL. And I had no idea who he was. I didn't know he existed. I mean, the kicker community is one where if somebody can bomb balls, I probably had heard of the person before or seen the person before. This dude was like 30 years old. I'd never heard of him before. And I felt so bad about it. I'm like, man, you are so good. I, I don't know how. He kicked in Canada. I think he kicked in like every league, basically. Kicked in the XFL. And he's like, man, I'm just grinding, trying to get my shot or whatever. And I watched this ball he was kicking. I'm like, this guy's fucking unbelievable. This is a good ball that he's hitting right here. This is a, you know, it had good pop. I thought the trajectory that was coming off, I thought was good. And it was a pure ball. So I thought he could be an NFL guy. Now, granted, mentally, you're going to have to find out, I guess, whenever he gets a chance to do it. But it felt like he was a guy. And I just started, like, talking about him. I was like, hey, there's a free hit. Because there's kickers that just get cut and signed and cut and signed. And guys that I watch him kick. And I'm like, how did this guy even get an opportunity? That ball is not a ball that should be in the NFL. So I was kind And then finally, you know. Tom McMahon said, hey, we have to get a COVID kicker or whatever. You know, we have to get a backup just in case something happens at the kicking position because that's happening now in Tampa Bay. It's happening in a couple places. Uh, he was like, tell me about Taylor. And I said, here we go. Hardworking guy. Seems like he's a driven guy. Hits a clean ball, high ball. I think this is a guy you get along with well. And today, Tom McMahon answered questions about him and said that I told him about him. And uh, I'm incredibly pumped for XFL alumni and a uh, guy who's been working his ass off for this opportunity, Taylor Russolino, get an NFL shot. And I'm happy to be a small little part of this entire thing. Interesting, it does say thanks to ESPN commentator. And I believe that is in reference to you in that article. Oh, is it really? Yeah, well, on the bottom right there, if you check the uh, <laughs> subtext, it says thanks to ESPN commentator and COVID. Oh, man. The Would that get them more? Does you th okay, because they headline, right? So that's trying to grab people's attention. Does ESPN commentator and COVID former XFL player likely, does that, you think that's a, the grabber? You I think, think so. You I think, think ESPN so. commentator oh, for some is reason. the grabber? I would wonder. I would think it would be probably, I guess. They think that's going to make a lot of people stop. That's why you headline something the way it is, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like Billy Tubes is back there thinking of headlines mm -hmm. right now for this current thing I'm talking about. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like that's literally, Mitt, what's up, dude? Mitt just came into the thing. This is his dad we're talking about. Hey, Pat, it's a good thing that you oh, and boy. my dad are both smarter than whoever wrote that headline. Oh! Yeah, shit! Bro, from the top rope like that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, AJ? Awesome. You all right, dude? Just because it's an attention-grabbing headline doesn't mean it's right. Yeah, I know. Well, that's what we're talking about. Most of them aren't. Most of them aren't. But I'm happy for this kid, dude. Taylor Russell, well, I guess he's a man, but I'm very happy for him. I think he's going to do really well, too. And McManus is a stud. I don't know if he's kicking this weekend. I have no idea what's going on. I, but he's in the conversation piece. If he ever gets a shot, hopefully he'll be able to go. What's well, crazy, especially with all of the, the kicking woes we have seen over the last two or three years in the NFL, that this is the first shot he's really getting. I know. I, that's why when I saw him kick the ball on the sideline in warm-ups, I was like... How do I have no idea who this guy is? Like, that's a very good ball right there. And maybe, by the way, maybe he stunk. Maybe he wasn't good. Maybe he just got good. I have no I don't know his story well enough, but watching him kick, and he posts on video every single day, he posts videos of him kicking, and it's like continuous shots, as opposed to, you know, normally you only see good balls posted in any sport. You only see good ball. He does like continuous shots and everything like that. So maybe he stunk. 
And maybe he just got really good, but whatever the case, he's really fucking good. And I'm happy he's getting a chance for this thing. Well, I mean, it sounds like he probably only get one week, though, with Brandon McManus, but at least he could showcase his talents to the rest of the league. Yeah, as long as you get film, you know, you get NFL film, you're good. You'll get back into the uh, rotation or whatever. 